Hey guys, welcome back. This is Cars and Cloud. In this video, I'm going to download Windows 10 2004, which is the Microsoft May release, May 2020 release feature updates. So it's called 2004. That's the, the Windows 10 build. So now let's get started. I'm going to download the ISO files and then burn it to a USB drive and then put it onto my laptop to install the operating system. So I'm going to download the installation files. All you have to do is just go to google.com and type in download Windows 10 ISO. Hit enter. The very first one, it's the microsoft.com. Click on download Windows 10. So you have two options here. You can update now that means it's going to update on your existing windows which is the current windows that you are using now or you can download the tools to create an ISO files so this process or this video I'm going to download the tool now here is the exe it's the media creation tools I'm going to hit uh, click on the exe License and agreement. Go ahead and click accept. So here it gives you two options upgrade this PC now or create an ISO files. I'm going to choose the second option. Click next. Select the language. I'm going to uncheck this box here. Use this recommended. So it's not going to install on this computer, so I don't need to check this box. I want to make sure it's English is the language. Edition, Windows 10, architecture, I'm running, I need x64, so you have an option to choose 32-bit or 64-bit or both. I'm going to leave it as x64. Click Next. Highly recommended that you burn into an ISO files and then extract it extract to your USB drive after. I don't recommend that you download directly to your USB drive. You might have an issues. So now let's choose ISO files. Click next. Let's give it a name. I'm going to call this Windows 10 underscore 2004. Click on save. The download from the internet, it's going to take a few minutes. I would say maybe about five to 10 minutes. It's depend on the speed of your internet or your and your computer. I'm going to pause the recording and we'll come back when it's finished downloading. We had 91%. Download has completed. Now it's verifying the download. It's now it is creating the media. Seventy two percent completed. All right, look like the download has completed. I'm going to close this out. Now let's open up Windows Explorer. Locate the ISO files. Things on the D drive. Hmm. Let's see, where did I save it to? 
let's refresh this. <clears throat> Okay, can't find it here. I think I save it under documents. Let's look in here. View by date. Here it is. Here is the ISO files. So what I need to do is right click and then go to mount. It's mounted. Now, all I have to do is just copy everything, control, press control A to highlight everything, and then control C to copy everything and put it in my USB drive. Right click on the USB, go to paste. That should copy everything I needed to boot from the USB. All right, so once it's finished, um, let's go to my laptop and run the install. I'm going to boot from the USB. All right, here's the my laptop. I got a Lenovo um, X1. Let's go ahead and put in the USB drive. It is in, now let's power it up. So on the Lenovo, just press F12 to enter the boot menu. So now I'm going to choose the USB. Now USB is highlighted. I'm going to hit enter. It's going to boot from my USB drive. As you can see here, the USB LED light is blinking. All right, now I can just review the settings, language, time zone, or time format, and the keyboard. Now I click next. Click on install now. Accept license. And hit next. Custom windows. Oops. Make sure you choose the primary. And if you want to format your hard drive, you can just click on format. Let me format the hard drive. Okay. Click on next. So now Windows is start installing. Once it's finished, I should have Windows 10 2004. It just rebooted, so the installation is almost finished. It took about only less than five minutes to install. I guess because I have a fast laptop. Let's connect to the Wi-Fi.
I'm going to set this up as personal. Next. I'm going to create an offline account. I'm going to choose limit my experience. Let's give it a name. I'm just going to call this Carson. Next, I'm going to skip password. We're going to agree. I'm going to say no for this one. No, I'm going to say not now for Katana. All right, look like the installation has completed. Let's check the window versions. I'm going to type in WinVer. As you can see, it is Windows 10 and the built version is 2004. That's it, folks. That's how you set up Windows 10 2004 on a new computer. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.